we're just gonna confirm B. Arthur. She's 29 days. She's spread to ace of diamonds. Arthur at 46 days. Spread to Ace of Diamonds. Twins for first time as a fall first freshener. And then we skipped her this last fall. So for sure we see one. I see one, there's baby there too. So one, two, probably three, but we for sure see three sacks, and then that looks like a placental sack. That could be a sack at a different depth. We're gonna explore those in a sec. I've seen a baby here. I'm gonna focus on this sack for a second and then I'm gonna look at that one. So definitely seeing movement. My hand is the hand is still, the goat is moving. And we definitely see movement. Tiny little things. So go ahead and try to get the other sacks in better focus. Well, that looks like it should be a baby, but having a hard time getting it in focus. Let's just see if it moves. That looks to be like a skull. Why we like the 45 days is their bones are starting to be uh, solid enough. Right there and there. Like that. Um, that looks like a head, and I definitely think I saw a head there. So we're going to see, focus here now. I didn't see anything in there. We're going to focus on this bottom one for a minute. Seeing movement up there. This is why we record it, because if I was just totally focused there, there's movement or to only focus there, I would have missed it. So I like to be able to go back and watch the entire video focusing on each of the sacks. Oh, it's upside down. There's the head and the body. She's being good for being such a brat to get in the stand. So I'm gonna go back to the first baby right there. And I'm doing this with these little, just slight wrist turns. And I'm gonna see about that sack again. That sack that I thought I saw something in here could just have either a baby that didn't finish forming or some placental tissue or a cord. It looked like something in there but I never could get a good body shape or movement right now I'm focusing on that so I'm gonna give her a break put some more blue bonds put some more green very good I'm gonna try to probe a little bit lower and see if I can get a better angle on that sack. So in my head, I'm seeing four sacks. They were the one, two, three, four, and I've seen a baby in one, three, and four. So this is that one that I want to see. So one, two, three, and four. 
really trying to see into that sack. So I'm gonna go a little lower, get a different angle. So if we were just counting sacks, we would be tempted to count, count that. My experience, I feel like there's almost always one extra sack. We definitely at birth see those extra sacks and we see all that extra fluid and we see the placenta having its own sack and lots and lots of fluid coming out with the placentas. Oh, see, look right there. So I'm going to stop pursuing that because I'm done. I'm going to do one more scan in two weeks. I'm going to just try because I like to do it to get all three of those on the screen at one time. See if there's a depth where we can see all three. I see the two. Because it's, it's fun to be able to see all three at the same time and really confirm. Those are three separate babies. Oh. The reason I like doing it at 45 days, I, I do a count at 45 and then sometime between 55 and 60, is because it's harder at this point for them to look like one baby. Once you get over 52 days probably, that's a good shot of that top one, then sometimes one baby can look like two because they're so big. Um, can see like it'll be like two looking sacks but really it's just some tissue and you know the baby's so long he's taking it both sacks so I feel like putting the data together between the 45 and the 60 is really helpful oh that's such a good shot I don't know if it's really catching it on my camera so swimmer um okay one so i can't get them all at the same time but i'm going to do it with very very close in depth so one two three we're going to count see the top one see the bottom one she's kind of mad at me now i can get those two at the same time sure there's nothing over here that I'm overlooking. So if I was just counting sacks, I would think I see five sacks. One, two, three, four, five. And that's definitely not the case. There's not five babies. I mean, I don't think there's five babies. I think there's three. Go ahead and turn it off. Looks like three babies. We'll know for sure in three and a half months. B. Arthur bred it to Ace of Diamond. She's 60 days. see the skull that darker white is what we're looking for in the, the shape the body shape but the the black is the fluid so that's the amniotic fluid and there we see some legs coming down now and we're so we're looking for white shapes in the shape of babies 
and some movement. So definitely see that baby moving. Okay, so we've confirmed there's one baby and there's three, four good size sacks. So now we're gonna look and see baby. So one, two, three. There's another baby up there. There, we see a really good picture of the skull. You can see the face, the, the shape of the muzzle, the nose. So one, two, three. And there's possibly one in there, or that's, that could be a fourth right there. She has four. I think you and your sister are both going to have four. So, I mean, that could be just placental nodes in that sack. So let's spend a little time seeing if we can get a better. Nope, that's a baby unless that's this baby in this sack, which is possible. But it's just one baby, oop, yep, there we go, there's the visual of it, it's just one baby. That's, I'm gonna guess three, and then there's always a possibility there's a fourth. 